my lovelies i hope you're all well so we are on desktop today so that's windows or mac it could be a desktop computer or a laptop and we are going to look at how you can create multiple cut layers from a single layered image We've already done this on iOS, so that's iPad or iPhone, and it is a slightly different method. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, let's just do seven layers. So I'm gonna duplicate it so that I've got seven of them. I'm then going to draw around all of them, come to the top of my canvas, align and center so that they're all sat perfectly on top of each other. I'm gonna select the top layer, come to operation, we can see it's set to cut. I'm going to keep this layer the color it is, so I'm going to go to my contour, which is always at the bottom of your layers panel on desktop. I'm gonna hide all contours and that's gonna take everything away but that top layer, I can bring back my penguin elements just by clicking on them and then close that down. My next layer, we're going to make it a yellow. Open up my contour. Again, hide all contours and it'll take away everything but that top layer. I'm going to bring back penguins and then take away that top layer and you always know it's selected because it's a lighter gray down this panel so if it's dark gray it's hidden and if it's a lighter gray then it's showing and you can click using the panel as well I can close that down my next layer, I'm gonna change the color on. And let's do an advanced selection. Open up my contour, hide all contours. And again, I can then bring back the ones that I want. Remember to take away that top layer. And I'm literally just doing the same repetitive motion. Hide all contours, bring back the next one. And I do find sometimes with contour, it can be a little bit temperamental. So you can be hovering on an element and it's not selecting it. And sometimes you find that you have to be quite away from it. So I do find that zooming right in can make a big, big difference. And there we go. We've now created all of our individual layers from that single layer image. Now we've done this with a draw and with pen, we would then come in and attach this. If we do that with a cut, it's all gonna become one cut layer, even though it's not all welded, it's attached. It will put it all it will put it all on the same mat in the exact way that you've attached it. But the whole point of creating all these layers is that we can cut out the penguin, the yellow, the teal, the purple, the red, the pink, the grey, and then layer them onto one item. So we're getting all those different colour layers. So we would actually not do anything with this. Once we've created these layers as a cut, and as long as they are all different colors, we would go to make it. And you see there, we'd get all our different layers. The only time that might change is if you've got more than one element of the same color. So these are all currently single layers, but I've got three layers of black. So I could come in and just attach the top layer so it cuts exactly as you see it and then the last layer will cut on the same map but separately or I could attach all three however if I attached all three I've then got this gap where it cuts so currently if I leave it as it is if we go to make it I've got my top two layers here 
And then my last layer on the same mat, but a separate cut. If I hold down my shift key and select that third layer and attach, and we then go to make it, I've got this gap then. So if they're all separate color layers, then you would just leave it as they are so that they can then go onto their individual mats. If you've got layers of the same color, then as long as those layers are within a certain amount of distance of each other, I would attach them. But if you've got quite a gap, then I would leave them separate so that they can cut on the same mat, but you can manually layer them. Now with a drawer, the lines are all separated. With cuts, quite often you can get lines that flow into other ones. So for example, the A, the L, the W are separate and the S is separate. The A and the Y are currently combined. So if I create my duplicated layers, I align and center, change the color on that first layer, open up my contour, hide all contours. I'm gonna bring back the A and then take away that top one. My next layer, again, change the color. Open up my contour, hide all contours, bring back my L, take away that top layer. Next layer, contour, hide all contours, bring back my W, take away that top layer. My next layer, again, we can change the color on. Contour, hide all contours. We're gonna do the S and hide that top layer. That leaves us with our last layer, which would be the A and the Y. So if we change the color on that and we go to contour, and I'm just gonna manually take the rest away rather than hide all contour just to show you. So if I try and take away just the A, I can't. It's gonna take away the Y as well because they are connected. So if I wanted to be able to use these as two separate layers, what I would have to do is we're just gonna hide everything around it I'd have to get a shape and we would just get a rectangle. We would unlock it by coming to the top of our canvas and selecting the lock to unlock it so that we can dictate the proportions. I'm going to zoom right in so we can see what's happening. So I'm gonna make this quite thin. I could make it quite pronounced if I wanted to. And in fact, let's do that so it looks a bit more natural. So what I'm gonna do is just come in and create a gap between the A and the Y to start with, something like that. I'm gonna draw around, come to the bottom of my layers panel and slice. And when I slice, you see I've got these slice results. I can delete those like so, and that's gonna create a gap. That A, I then want to kind of make a, make a lot better actually. So I'm just gonna go to shapes again. We're gonna get a circle and I'm gonna unlock that circle and just kind of make the way that A finishes just a bit more natural. And then again, highlight and slice. I can then delete those. And I could neaten it up and, and really, you know, make it look as it should. But for now, we're just gonna leave it like that. Now, I've created that slice, but they are still one layer. So what I would need to do now is duplicate that 
I'm going to bring it so they're sat on top of each other. We can make one a blue and one will make another colour. I'm going to bring back my other pieces. My blue layer, I'm going to open up my contour. And I can now take away that Y. And on that other layer, I can open up my contour. And I can now take away that A. Whereas I couldn't before because they were connected. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this has been helpful. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.